Helldivers 2 is broken. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. So the problem we've got here... Well, there's a lot of problems. So the patch that came into the game yesterday, it makes the game crash all the time. But we think that's linked to arc weapons. There's problems with the mechs still. There's just loads of issues here. And we need to break them down because... Helldivers, it's going to struggle if it can't fix these problems fast. Because if you can't play the game, people ain't going to well play the game. And also, the Galactic War is paused while all of this is trying to get fixed. So let's take a look at this video first because it shows us the mechs just still exploding when you fire a rocket. And this one's even worse because the mech's just looking forward, fires a rocket and dies. Now, normally this doesn't happen. Normally it would be you sort of looking to the side and then you sort of catch a bit of the hitbox of the mech. Uh, but no, apparently you just explode now. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens sometimes. And the fact it's still happening is super frustrating because the problem is if it's in a patch note saying it's been fixed and it isn't fixed, well, then it makes players angry. <laughs> now, you guys know I like a good Helldivers meme. Check this out because this is beautiful. <laughs> the devs only left one bug, but uh-oh, bug breach detected. Oh, dear. And it does feel like that, doesn't it? It's like, yeah, they, they fixed a lot of stuff. I think what they were trying to fix primarily in this patch was the cross-play um, stuff with the PlayStation and PC, which by all accounts seems to be fixed. But then there's a lot of other issues that have cropped up. And yeah, it seems to be getting... It, it feels like it's just rolling away from them and they really need to rein it in and try and sort all of these problems out just before it gets worse. So this message popped up from Baskinator, um, the community manager of Helldivers. And this is what they say. Helldivers, we're aware of an issue with the Galactic War not tracking your effective spread of liberty properly. We are investigating this urgently and will keep you posted as soon as we understand the issue and have a fix to communicate to you. Thanks very much for your patience while we squash some software bugs. Now, this obviously is in relation to the fact that the Galactic War, even as of now, is not playable. It cannot be progressed. You can still join planets and take part, but we are losing liberation on these planets and we can't stop it. It's bugged, it's broken, and yeah, this is not great. This is also like one of the main components of the game, so I'm not really sure um, how they... Are. Well, I mean, I'm not a game program. I'm never going to understand any of this, but I don't know how this has got bugged. You know what I mean? It's just weird. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, the Galactic War doesn't work now, which is a big problem um, because that is the point of the game. A lot of people go out there to play to complete Galactic War objectives. And uh, if it's not working, then I don't know. It just feels like the, the the core element of the game is currently broken and it makes me feel sad. Twin Beard then comes in a bit later on and says, a lot of info now, Helldivers, but too much is better than the opposite. We know that many of you are experiencing a lot of crashes at the moment, seemingly linked to the patch deployed earlier today, which at least resolves the persistent friend request issue for a lot of players our team is deep down in the trenches digging into the issues as we speak we are on alert ready to update any changes here we're very sorry everyone for not being able to supply you with the glorious feeling of bug and bot stomping and hope to have the game more stable as soon as possible now the takeaways from this obviously i, I i'd imagine there's a lot of devs over in sweden in arrowhead studios working all night is trying to fix this and you it's in a lot of ways a good problem to have because you've got that much interest around your game. You've got so many people want to play the game that, yeah, you know, people want the game to be fixed. But on the other hand, it's also like a crucial time for the game where the game is finding its feet, where the game has a lot of players. And if they can't play, there is potential that you lose those players through, well, through attrition, I guess, if they just can't play because nobody's going to play if the game's going to crash. And I'll be completely honest, the worst moments in Helldivers 2 are when the game crashes, generally towards the end of a mission as well, and you just lose everything. It's like, oh my God, I've just played for 30 minutes and I just lost it all, come on. You know, that is very frustrating. So yeah, there are a lot of problems. The devs are trying to fix them though. So this is more of a just stay tuned kind of situation. But do be aware if you're playing Helldivers now, uh, the game could crash and you cannot progress war, um, galactic war status and, and get liberated, well, and add liberation to planets. So obviously, as you can expect, there's a ton of reaction to this. And I think we should take a look at some of the responses. So over on Reddit, they say, how about the game crashing all the time? And the response to this is, I think I've had more crashes with Helldivers 2 than any other game I've played on the PS5. The game is super fun, but it's deeply frustrating to be 30 minutes into a mission with three of the super rare sample things in your inventory, and then it crashes and you get nothing. We crashed on the last mission of an impossible campaign on extraction, trying to unlock Helldive effing aggravated and this is true you know you it, it is it is a problem it's a massive problem and i'm not like 
with that user saying, okay, the game's crashed more than any game they've experienced, I think that's a bit over the top. But the game is crashing a lot, and this is a problem. Because, like I said, you lose progress, and there's only so much of that you can take. Helldivers 2 is a fantastic game. It plays really well. The, the weapons sound awesome. They feel awesome. It's just great all in all. But if it crashes, yeah, the issue is you, you're not going to keep playing that game because you're going to worry, is it going to crash again? It's a massive problem, this is. And the crashes, even though they do highlight they're fixing crashes in patch notes, they really need to fix the crashes because it is really killing the game. And this user says, seriously, it's difficult to get excited about patches when they constantly cause new crashes. I just recently discovered the joy of the arc thrower and now I'm forced to utilize other stuff I don't enjoy just so the game won't crash. Apparently, people are more concerned about stats that don't even matter than about the myriad of other real issues the game is still has, or the game still has. Also, were people really upset about the environmental hazards that they took priority over other issues? I agree with the meteor change, and as they were very hard to avoid, especially in the heat of a fight, but that was also part of the chaotic fun. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little salty, but I feel like the last couple of patches have focused on things that not many people wanted or asked for. I could be wrong, though. Sometimes I go a few days without checking Reddit or Discord. And I think there's a lot of valid points there in that comment. But I want to move on to the next comment because then I want to go and talk about these arc weapons, which may be the cause of these crashes. Seeing everyone getting crashes since the patch, including myself, I've crashed in two different missions around 10 minutes in, even with a high-spec PC and internet. It's not just PC. PS5s also crash a lot. I hope this is fixed soon. Need to also address arc weapons crashing many players. Specifically, arc weapons exceeding a threshold in the accuracy stat that's causing the crash and or freeze. So there, we got a little bit of info there um, from this Reddit user saying that it might be linked to the arc weapons and the way that they count up kills. Now remember, this was actually added in the last patch because arc weapons, the, the kills were not tracked. Now they are, and it seems that that might be causing some sort of an issue, which is causing the game to crash, which is a massive problem. So this is a theory. Crashes since the new patch are caused by arc weapons. And this user says, ever since the new patch was released, I had 9 out of 10 games with the arc thrower crash on me. This crash is unique in that my screen freezes and I have to force quit the game to restart instead of being booted out like other crashes. The one time I was able to finish the mission, my accuracy was over 120%. This problem means the crash is caused by arc weapons now registering hits and shots fired as fixed in the patch notes, causing some ridiculous accuracy stats to crash the game. Please upvote to bring attention to this, and I'm sure you will all start experiencing this issue as it is the most invasive one I've seen so far post-patch, along with cross-play friends. Edit, the devs are well aware and are on it. So, this idea that the arc weapons could be crashing the game, yeah, I mean, I don't know, but it's it's one way of looking at it. And the fact that the statistics now go over 100% is a bit weird. And again, I'm not a programmer. I, I'm not involved in database design or anything like that. I don't know anything about that. But normally when figures start going above ranges that they shouldn't be able to go above, it can cause strange problems. And maybe that's what this is. Maybe the game is literally getting confused and thinking, hang on a minute, somebody can't have more than 100% accuracy. And then it tries to confirm, deny, confirm, deny. And then it just crashes. Gets caught in, I don't know, a logic loop. I'm not even sure what that means. I just said it because it sounds like something that would be said in a hacker film. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, maybe that's what's causing it. But I think the big takeaway here is at least the devs are working on this and trying to get it fixed. Because like I said, the game is literally unplayable at the moment. Arc weapons are popular. And if people are using them, the game's going to crash a lot if that's what the crashes are linked to. It's just a really strange situation. But let's end on a good note, because the game is still fantastic when it works. <laughs> Helldivers 2 devs refuse to turn off friendly fire because it's funny. <laughs> Accidentally carpet bombing friends is hilarious. Yeah, now, this is, you know, it's just part of the game. The game is funny when people die. I mean, okay, people will troll, and I've got to be honest, I think the, the, the amount of trolls is slightly increasing. I have been killed by people blatantly, and it's happening more often. It's probably because they see the name Stylos and think I'll just kill this guy. <laughs> Fair enough if you do. By the way, if you do that, then fair enough. At least laugh at me in the chat when you do it. Um, but yeah, this is part and parcel of the game, isn't it? It's the chaotic nature of the game. It's just the, oh, oh my God, we've called an airstrike. Hang on, it's slightly off target. It may have bombed the team. Okay, we deal with it. We get on with it. I mean, that's what the reinforcement mechanic's for. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, Hell Lives 2 still is a fun game, but they do have big issues. And these issues, they need to really work on them because if they don't, then this is just going to get worse and worse and worse over time. And what they don't want is the narrative around the game being focused on 
Well, they patch the game and the patches are not great. And then the patches just literally break the game. So it doesn't work. And then we can't play. And then we can't progress the galactic war. We can't liberate planets. We get frustrated. We stop playing. And that is a big problem. So I'm sure they're really close to fixing this. And I hope they get this sorted today. Because, yeah, it's a, a massive problem for the game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, then do let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Let me know if you've been crashing and how you've been crashing and all of that stuff. I was going to say good stuff, but that's not good stuff and all of that stuff. <laughs> Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, which is, or X, I guess, which is uh, Stylosa over on Twitter, if you so desire. And uh, yeah, like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.